So you've made 35 appearances already this season uh, for the Grecians, um, which is actually more than you managed in each of the last two campaigns. So you must be quite pleased with how you've settled into Exeter and how things are going this season. Yeah, it's um, <coughs> obviously I had a few bad injuries before, and uh, but I'm really enjoying myself and uh, really, really enjoying my football at the minute. And, and it's good that we're pushing up the table and we're looking above us now, rather than at the start of the season when we were looking underneath us. Um, your style of play is, is quite a controlled, uh, you know, passing style of football, always looking for that forward ball, and that kind of mirrors a, a bit extra City's play because they like to get the ball down and, 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 pa and pass it. Do you think that's one of the reasons why you've be become such a mainstay in the team? Uh, I'm not too sure, really. There's, there's, uh, there's a lot of different different games, different um, situations. So, like, it's like you go to Notts County, it was a tough game. Yeah, yeah, cool. There wasn't much football being played, so I think you've got a very, very different ways you play to uh, different games. Um, but, but that, in terms of that central midfield role and the style that Exeter City played, did that attract you to, to come to the club in the summer? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, as soon as I spoke, spoke with uh, the manager, I knew straight away that I wanted to, to come and, and from playing against uh, is his teams. Uh, I knew what sort of style of football and I thought it would be really enjoyable. And, but in terms of those players, Jake and, and Lee, did that convince you as well to come to X? Did you speak to any of those players? Yeah, I spoke to Holmesy before. Um, before. Uh, but to be honest, when I knew, knew they were interested, it was all done rather quickly. As soon as I met Tiz, I made my own mind up anyway. And straight away, anyway. Uh, X was the next place for me. Um, you made over 100 appearances uh, for Leighton Orient um, and your first season very successful there and getting to the playoffs but you, w when they were relegated from League One that was when you suffered your broken leg. W would you put that down as one of the hardest times you've had a professional footballer because you, obviously you're watching your teammates struggle on the pitch as well? Yeah I think it was. It was, um, it was real tough because I actually started the season for a couple of games and I was playing probably some of the best football I had. And, uh, Obviously, to break my leg and, and then not being able to help the lads out when you knew that they were in trouble and getting relegated uh, was, was very frustrating. So I'd say, yeah, it was probably one of my, my toughest times. Uh, the season before, you made uh, over 50 appearances as the, as the O's reached the playoff final. Um, in the final months of that campaign, you were in a battle for the, for the automatic promotion places. Uh, looking back at the experience, what lessons can you draw from that going into the current promotion battle you've got with Ecstasy? Uh, there's a lot of twists and turns, I would say, there's, until now and until the end of the season. So be prepared, like, just prepare for anything because the results, some crazy results go, go on from now and until the end of the season. So uh, just, just that really and hopefully we do. We don't need the playoffs with Barbara, right? <laughs> yeah. So is it uh, the keys just staying focused and, uh, on what you do? Yeah, stay focused in the job in hand and, and we know there's going to be twists and turns and don't get too high when you win and too low when you lose.